What's up, Vinyl Community? What's the Vinyl Cheapskate here? Coming at you with the weekend drinking music. Uh, it's actually early in the morning, so it's a weekend drinking all the music for me. Uh, kind of slack this week. I meant to do a video on Friday, um, but I didn't. Uh, I was actually, I took the day off on Friday and I should have did a video, but I just didn't. I was running around a lot, uh, doing last minute stuff for my son's start school on Monday, so we were doing stuff for that. Uh, but ended up having time to go and trade in a chunk of my, a chunk of records that I uh, had sitting around. And it was a lot of stuff that I hadn't listened to in years. And it was stuff that I calculated I wouldn't be missed really. Uh, so brought a bunch of that stuff into Celebrated Summer and uh, ended up getting a whole bunch of heavy metal records, which when I go to Celebrated Summer, I don't really expect heavy metal records. I expect to get like punk and hardcore stuff or like weird rock stuff, you know, whatever I'm feeling that day because it's a great shop. It has good, good selection, stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah. I had a huge haul of heavy metal stuff. Uh, what we're listening to now wasn't part of that, but it's, uh, where the hell did I put the record? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> so what we're listening to now, this was also a find recently. Uh, I found it online for good price. Uh, this was not a deal. This was not one of my Chief State records, but I picked up a picture of Angel Witch, Frontal Assault. Uh, and I'm a, love me some Angel Witch, so. Saw this at a price that I thought was affordable, so I went for it. Uh, yeah, cool new wave of British heavy metal stuff. This is when they're kind of moving out of that sound, though. They're more straightforward traditional metal, but it's still a really good album. But yeah, I picked that up recently. But when I went to Celebrated Summer, they took some stuff. I got a good chunk of credit. And I went through and I found a bunch of like, kind of like, uh, uh, got a bunch of really like classic traditional heavy metal stuff. Uh, since I showed some new ebb, let's show that, a couple more of those, but this is all stuff that I got from Celebrated Summer, all the stuff I'm showing now, uh, we'll show one more that's not the Celebrated Summer one, uh, I picked this one up, for pretty cheap, it was 12 bucks, uh, at a shop that I visited locally recently, uh, and I'm gonna do a second part of this, kind of like, I found it with store credit, because I traded, traded some records to them too, called Normal's Books, uh, only about 15 minutes from the data, really good selection of like, really everything, really eclectic mix of stuff, and really well done, like, uh, really cool stuff in there, and I, I ended up putting stuff back and finding more stuff, but I'll show you that one later, but Avatar, uh, figured since I'm showing heavy metal, I'll show this, and I went in there, I picked this up, and I picked a couple other things up, which I'll put in my punk final finds later. But I wanted to keep this one all heavy metal. Uh, Avatar is like a speedy heavy metal band from California. But yeah, great stuff, man. Like er, some like I don't know if it's early speed metal, but it's definitely like speedy metal stuff. Uh, I think it kind of precursors rash but very good stuff yeah I think this was the early or mid 80s but yeah great excellent stuff this is a cool record uh I saw it and I was like oh cool and I thought there was gonna be a big price tag on it. I was like 12 bucks oh yeah just went for it and now to the stuff from celebrated summer uh this was half trade I paid for half trade half was paid for in trade 
but there is so much good heavy metal stuff there that I actually left some stuff behind and now I'm thinking why didn't I get that one too but I didn't want to spend too much and I was trying to keep my budget below a certain amount and I did uh, but yeah let's get to it uh, first off let's start off with the, the new stuff that I picked up so there's some some bands that were part of the new wave of British heavy metal movement that I picked up and it wasn't these are nothing that's like super rare or like uh, they're not like rare records or anything but they're just really good solid records uh, picked up this Venom LP uh, double LP set uh, from hell to the unknown and I think it's just like a collection of like a uh, I think it's just like a collection of like uh, some of their studio tracks and some of their like like lesser known tracks all put together. But I can't really see the track list because I gotta figure out how to fix this. And I think that's why this was it was a pretty cheap for a Venom record. It was like fifteen bucks, which is pretty cheap. Uh, but this is why there's this poster inside that it came with, and some I guess the person who doesn't look anywhere. Like it has water damage or anything. Like the, the the sleeves in really good shape. It's got a little bit of splitting up here, corner and uh, a little bit of wear on the corners. But besides that, it's in really excellent shape for how old this record is. Except for that and this. And the records are in perfect, perfect shape too. But I think. He put 15 bucks on it because this this poster was completely stuck in here. And I tried to peel it a little bit and it started coming apart. I'm going to spend a little more time with trying to peel it off. And it doesn't seem like it got wet ever. I think that they just stuck this poster in there. And something with heat over time just made it stick to the inside. But really a cool, cool find. Uh, I like Venom a lot. And this is on the Raw Power label. And it's one black vinyl. And one red vinyl. Which I don't know if this is like a hodgepodge thing or if it came out on red vinyl. Uh, but that's pretty cool. So, disc. Yeah, one disc is. One disc is a uh, yeah. Disc one is red and disc two is black, which is interesting uh, for that time period. I'm not sure if they got hodgepodge and they were both supposed to be red at some point. I'm gonna have to look it up on Discogs. I haven't even looked this up on Discogs yet. But yeah, can't go wrong with the OG Venom record. Next one is Samson Survivors. Uh, no, this is not with uh, this is not with uh, Bruce Dickinson on vocals. So, but still cool find. I only have one other Samson record. Uh, one of the new wave of British heavy metal bands. Uh, kind of on the outskirts here. This is 1983, but really good stuff. Uh, Samson's traditional British band, great stuff. Uh, got Paul Samson on drums or on uh, guitar and vocals on this one. But yeah, excellent stuff. Really stoked to get this one in the collection. I've been looking for it for a while. And last one that could be considered like a new wave of British heavy metal. And this is the this is one that I would have been wanting to pick up for a while. And it was the first, this was the first one I found in the shop. And I was just randomly looking through the uh, metal section, just like, you know, perusing. I went through all those new releases and found one of the new releases, but I'm not putting it in this video because it's not a heavy metal album. It's the only album that I got that wasn't a heavy metal album on that trip. But uh, picked up this Raven album, all for one. Uh, Raven. 
And I think this is my favorite Raven album. I mean, they got this weird thing with sports gear on other albums. I don't know. But this is this one's a great album. Uh, Take Control, Sledgehammer Rock, Break the Chain, Break the Chain's awesome song. Seek and Destroy, I'm Drawn and Quartered. Uh, great, great heavy metal album. Uh, this is a total classic. I really do think this is my favorite Raven album, so I'm glad that I finally picked this one up. At least this is the one that I've listened to the most on like streaming services and stuff. But excellent record. Uh, super stoked to get this from the collection. I've been meaning to grab it for a while. People like people have been pricing heavy metal albums kind of through the roof, and I think it's kind of coming down off of that a little bit, and I'm reaping the rewards now. Great stuff. Uh, still got more. That was just three of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven heavy metal records that I picked up. I picked up eight records total. All of them were 15 bucks. But yeah. Uh, Picked up a couple by the Wild Dogs. Uh, been meaning to pick these up for a little while, and like I said, always have like this one. Not really, doesn't really have a big price tag usually, but it was sealed, so I went for it. Uh, but the problem with this one was it was sealed, but the shrink wrap warped edge warped the record a little bit. I was thinking, oh, should I get in touch with Tony, see if he'll trade it in with me. Tony's the owner of the shop. Uh, should I get in touch with them and trade it in? But I played it, and it played through on my record player upstairs. So I'm going to keep it and just write it off as I got a warped copy of it and call it a day. Because in reality, I paid like 7 bucks for this because of all the trades that I did. Uh, so... Not too bad. Uh, Wild Dogs, Reign of Terror. This is their late, their like, not their last album, but it's one of the later. It's in the late '80s. You hear a little bit of that hair metal style going into this, but it doesn't ruin it. It's not like cheesy. Uh, still keeps pretty hard, heavy rock stuff, uh, but good stuff. And then I got their first album. Uh, this one's got a different singer. Uh, this one came out in 83. Wild Dogs, self-titled. Wild Dogs, Wild Dogs. Uh, more good, gritty, heavy metal stuff. Uh, and look at this guy. This guy right there is... Yeah. You can't go wrong when your singer looks like that. Uh, but yeah, great album. Another cool heavy metal album I'm excited to dig into. Uh, next up was an album that I just discovered recently, like the last couple years, and it's another speed metal, speedy speed metal album. Uh, speed metal, heavy metal, uh, kind of got a bit of cheese in it, but that's what makes me kind of like it. Uh, that's this Dr. Mastermind. Uh, look at that outfit. <laughs> but yeah, I picked up this Dr. Mastermind album. Uh, I kind of stumbled on this album like a year or so ago, two years ago. I uh, had never heard of it, but I saw that album, co I saw this cover pop up somewhere, this guy pop up somewhere, and I was like, I gotta check that out. And I checked it out, and it's actually really, really good. Uh, this one came out in, I don't know, this is on Shrapnel Records. Uh... And it came out in, I think it came out in 88. Yeah, this came out in 88. So it's like, I think this may have got overlooked a bit just because of how like guarish this guy's shoulder pads are. And uh, it's not really a thrash album. And in 88, I think thrash was pretty big. So really like most of the metal bands were trying to do like thrashy stuff and this band kept with like a traditional speed metal sound uh from what i remember it's close to like an exciter type 
thing. But uh, really good stuff. Uh, glad to pick this one up. Uh, haven't bought any heavy metal in a long time because the prices for heavy metal have been like kind of kind of bigger than I want them to be. So I've been kind of like avoiding it. But all these were pretty cheap, and I'm really glad that I picked. I found these in the wild. I found them in a shop. I didn't find them online, which is awesome because so, so much stuff has been going online lately and it's been kind of getting on my nerves. I'm getting kind of sick of like online stuff. Uh, everything's for sale online now and it seems like even people are, everybody's just trying to sell their stuff online and it's kind of ruining all the physical shops and going out and leaving your house to try to shop, which I really miss that, and I think I'm going back towards going to just shops in general and just not buying things online for anything, really. Uh, that's the way I want to go, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes for me. Uh, anyway, last one, definitely not least. Uh, got a... Uh, A uh, copy of Accept, Restless and Wild, uh, my favorite Accept album. Uh, haven't been able to find it for a decent price online. For some reason, it seems like Accept records online have been close to twenty bucks a piece for a long time, and I finally found one that wasn't, and I was stoked. They actually had another one that I needed, and I didn't grab it. Uh, the I'm a Rebel. LP by Accept, and it's also an early Accept record, but I kind of went past it, and I should have grabbed that one too, but I had had all these in my hand when I found it, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to get the one, but now I'm thinking maybe I'll go back and see if they have it, like tomorrow or something, and I know how that works out. Usually, usually it doesn't work out, but it's worth a try, uh, but yeah, Accept. Uh, Restless and Wild, great, great songs. Every song on here is a banger. Every single one. And you can't go wrong. And this one's on CNR and the Brain label, which is pretty cool. Uh, I guess it's probably licensed from the Brain label, I would guess. Because it's got the CNR labels on it. Like the labels on here say CNR. And it doesn't say Brain anywhere. We'll work with this. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. But yeah, that's my heavy metal haul for this week. Uh, I meant to, like I said, I meant to do it on Friday, but I got busy and then the wife came home and we ended up going out to eat. And I ended up being out all day driving Quinn, driving my son Quinn around doing stuff. Uh, but anyway. Ended up getting some time to go to the record shop on Friday, and it worked out in my favor to get in a bunch of heavy metal stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, the owner of the shop that I go to is on a bunch of live streams and stuff. Maybe I'll put a couple of those in the description down below so you can check it out. Uh, he's on the Analog Attack live stream sometimes. Uh, but super cool guy. Very talkative. Uh, very informative, lots of information and good stories. If you're ever in Baltimore, you should go check out Celebrated Summer Records. And uh, also check out uh, Normal's Books. Normal's Books has been around for like 33 years. So great shop too. Like it's like a library in there book-wise. If you want a books and records, like that's definitely a spot. It's got a full-on record shop, but it's definitely more, I think it's more of a bookshop because there's books everywhere in that shop uh huge like like a library literally like a library got different sections it's huge but yeah anyway cheers everybody hope you all have a good sunday uh hope you had a good weekend and i'll see you next week